Welcome back everyone. I hope everybody is doing well and I think you're going to enjoy this video today. I have brought down with me the R75 portable ground blind. Now fall archery season is just around the corner so I had a couple of ideas to make this portable blind a little more portable. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. Now out of the bag This guy stands itself up, so just as soon as you open it, you get to just simply flip the squares open, and like I said, it'll pop itself right up there where you need it. Just get your cross sections pulled apart. This is spring steel, and it just pretty much pops up in place. Now, before we put any of the poles in there, I want to get the mule prepped, and I think we're going to be able to slide this right up in the back up. Now, I'll tell you. I am glad I have a side-by-side -side that is big enough to actually get this tent into. I think this is going to look really cool. This guy done. Get the top ready to lay up. And we need about 60 inches of floor space. So we are going to have to fold the tin in just a little bit. Now that we've got this open, I want to make sure I get the door to the back. Look at that. Not an exact match, but that absolutely looks cool sitting in the back of this mule. Now these are the tie lines that you would use to hold the blind down, and there is tent stakes in the bag, but we are going to use this to secure right to the side of the mule here. I mean, just absolutely convenient. And I gotta say that already looks cool. Isn't that something? Now I'm gonna unzip the door here. Now look at that. Just a little bit hanging over the back of the gate here. Right? Let's get a look at the side of it and see how it looks sitting on the mule. <laughs> Have access to our windows. That is just too neat. Now another advantage of this actually setting up on the mule, I've had some deer and turkey moving in the past couple of weeks and I've been noticing them back here by the pond. So I want to be able to get this on the camera for you guys. The problem I have is once I put the blind up down here by the pond, then the deer want to go over here. 
So by having this on the back of the mule, I'm simply going to be able to park the mule out here in anticipation of where they're going to be. Climb in the back, bring the camera up into the back of the blind there, and we'll see if we can't catch these guys on camera for you. Go ahead and get the bed anchored down. We'll go climb up in here and see how this does. I've run along my chair. Another cool aspect about this is I do have the 12 volt outlets back here. And since it is still hot outside, I can actually plug up my fan and have it inside the tent with me. Not bad. Well, I tell you what, Granny Jill may not see me for dinner. <laughs> Now I've done several reviews on this little hunting blind and I gotta say it works really well. Inexpensive and does absolutely what you think it's going to do. Now I'm telling you, that's just too cool. And I can just simply let this hook down to give me more access here. Or I can, again, leave them in place and open the whole window. <laughs> not bad. And since we're not having to modify the uh, hunting blind for the mule, just simply untie this, pull it out of the back, set it up in the woods wherever you chose to, and you're ready to hunt or put it back on the mule, and uh, obviously have room to carry everything you need to carry. Just tie it in and take it for a ride. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. You got her tied in pretty good. Let's see how she's going to ride. Not a bad experiment. Uh, the blind is still running under seventy dollars, so we just enclosed the back of the mule for seventy bucks. And the only place that this did not match perfectly is right here on the back. You can see our ring down here, but this was a primarily bug group as well. I mean, if we could close this up with some clamps. You get the bottom sealed where you don't have to let mosquitoes up and around the bottom of it or something like that. Perfect. Let me give you a look inside. So definitely uh, just about five feet to the front of the tent there. And it also, you can unzip that window 
I can have access to the front of the mule. Let's see if I can get in here to it. So you could have things setting here in the back seat, up here on the rail if you needed to. Great, great place to put your lights and different things like that. That's just too convenient. I like it when things work like that. If you love the outdoors and you guys have watched our channel, now we're using the mule for a camper. <laughs> this should be a video that all of you guys like. This was easy, I mean just absolutely easy. Um, you can have this thing put in the back of the mule in about five minutes with no modifications to anything, okay? And again, you can camp in it, you can uh, do photography from it, anything you chose to. Um, <clears throat> utilize the floor space of the mule perfectly so i hope you guys enjoy this video like i said all of you should like this one thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one i don't know what we're going to get into next